About this book 1001 CCNA routing and switching practice questions for dummies is designed to be a practical practice exam guide that will help you prepare for the two CCNA exams. As the book title says, it includes 1001 questions, organized by exam so that you can prepare for the ICND-1 exam first, and then after passing it, you can prepare for the ICND-2 exam. This book has been designed to help you prepare for the style of questions you will receive on the CCNA exams. It also helps you understand the topics you can expect to be tested on for each exam. In order to properly prepare for the CCNA exams, I recommend that you 1. Review a reference book. 1001 CCNA Routing and Switching Practice Questions for Dummies is designed to give you sample questions to help you prepare for the style of questions you will receive on the real certification exam. However, it is not a reference book that teaches the concepts in detail. That said, I recommend that you review a reference book before attacking these questions so that the theory is fresh in your mind. 2. Get some practical, hands-on experience. After you review the theory, I highly recommend getting your hands on some routers and switches, or using a simulator. Practice configuring the router with each topic you are studying. The CCNA certification is a practical, hands-on certification. The more hands-on experience you have, the easier the exams will be. 3. Do practice test questions. After you review a reference book and perform some hands-on work, Attack the questions in this book to get you exam ready. How this book is organized I highly recommend preparing for one CCNA exam at a time. Yes, there are two exams to take, ICND-1 and ICND-2. This book is divided into two parts. Part 1 covers the topics you need to know for the ICND-1 exam while Part 2 covers the topics you need to know to prepare for the ICND-2 exam. The following sections outline what you can find in each part. Part 1. ICND-1 Exam 100-101 In this part, you are presented with a number of questions, organized by topic, that prepare you for the types of questions you can expect on the ICND-1 exam, Exam 100-101. This part covers topics such as networking basics, TCP, IP, subnetting, introduction to the Cisco IOS, basic router configuration, and switch configuration. This part also covers the basics of routing and routing protocols, such as RIP and OSPF, as well as WANs and troubleshooting network communication. Part 2 ICND-2 Exam 200-101 Part 2 presents practice questions to help prepare you for the ICND-2 Exam, Exam 200-101. This part covers questions on ICND-2 topics, including switching technologies such as STP, Etherchannel, VLANs, VTP, iOS boot process and file management, router essentials and route summarization, RIP and OSPF, EIGRP, IP services, and frame relay and WAN technologies. CCNA exam details the CCNA certification is earned after you pass Cisco's ICND-1 and ICND-2 exams, which are numbered 100 to 101 and 200 to 101, respectively. Each exam presents 40 to 50 questions and you will have approximately 90 minutes to complete each test. The exams are available English and Japanese languages. In order to take the CCNA certification exams, you must be 18 years or older if you wish to take the exam without a parent's consent. If you are between 13 and 17 years old, you may still take the exam but only with a parent's consent. Exam objectives The CCNA certification is respected in the industry and coveted because it tests the exam candidate on basic networking concepts and the skills needed to configure Cisco devices in a network environment. The following is a list of the major exam objectives that you will be tested on with each CCNA exam. For full details on the exam objectives, 
Check out Cisco's website at www.cisco.com slash web slash learning slash certifications slash associate slash ccna slash index dot html. ICND 1, 100 to 101, objectives for this test include one operation of IP data networks, covers topics such as networking devices, such hubs, switches, and routers. No network models such as OSI and TCP, IP Internet model. Predict data flow between two systems given a scenario, and understand cable types. Two LAN switching technologies. Know the switching concepts, such as collision domains and broadcast domains and the MAC address table. Know basic commands to configure a switch and VLANs. Three IP addressing. IPv4, IPv6, no details of IPv4 addressing and subnetting. Also understand the different IPv6 address types. Four IP routing technologies. Know the concepts of IP routing, including static routing and dynamic routing. Know RIP and OSPF routing protocols, and how to route between VLANs. Five IP services. Know how to configure DHCP and access control lists on a router. Be sure to understand NAT and how to configure NAT on the router. 6. Network device security. Understand security best practices with switches and routers. This includes port security, SSH, and password security. 7. Troubleshooting. Know how to troubleshoot all topics covered by ICND1 including ACLs, communication, DHCP, NAT, and IP addressing issues. ICND 2, 200-101, objectives for this test include 1 LAN switching technologies, no LAN switching technologies, such as STP, RSTP, VLANs, and Ether channels. 2 IP routing technologies, Know the basics of the iOS boot process and how to manage files. Know how to configure routering between VLANs and how to configure OSPF and EIGRP. 3. IP services. Know high availability concepts such as FHRP, VRRP, and HSRP. Know how to configure and use syslog and describe SNMPv2 and v3.